Okay, um, as a continuation of the um, warm factory projects or you know, the, the, the warm uh, uh, farms, I had already one in another video that was showing this kind of rectangular uh, system. It works really nice, but I want to teach you also with all the materials that are more common, so you need to spend money buying those recipients. And those are these buckets. These buckets were, were used for compound materials and they were clean really well. Make sure that they don't have no no toxic stuff like you know I don't know some some petroleum based materials so you can you know find sometimes the restaurants throw away these things that are really good or other other materials like you know like regular compounds and limestone that that it's not that toxic so clean them up really well and here is the theory behind it the the bottom container is gonna be our recipient for the liquid that is gonna be that is you know the result of the decomposition and all the transformation of the matter that is going to be here. So we're going to put a little valve on the bottom. We're going to make a hole, put a little valve, seal it really well. And in our second container, we're going to have our worms living in the media where they, you know, like to live, like you know, some pea moss or or some um, already um, half decomposed leaves that we have around. They like to live there in a nice moisture thing. The third container. It's gonna be a place where you're gonna start putting all your greens. Now, make sure that you don't put no fatty material, you know, fatty things like, you know, maybe dressings and stuff like salad dressings or meats or any other stuff that, that, that will rot and that will attract rodents. So, and the fourth one is just a repetition of, of the third one. And a repetition because normally what, what is gonna be happening is that you're gonna be producing hummus, which is that black, nice, uh, uh, material that is the result of the pure decomposition really high in rich in nutrients for your plants sometimes called black oil that's how important it is so th that's that's the that's the process that is going to you know that is going to take and i'm going to show you uh the first step which is putting this valve on the bottom container okay okay so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start with the valve on the bottom part um, I found a, a you know a drill bit that is equal or a, sm a little smaller than the threads on, on this valve. Also, I have some washers that I'm going to use to kind of seal the stain and I have a little bit of silicon that I'm going to use for that purpose. So I'm going to make a hole over here. Started already making it, and and then we're going to put the valve. We're going to try to seal it as good as possible. I'm using this this uh, threaded uh, uh, coupling over here just to kind of provide a nice seal from the inside and from the outside as well. Okay. Okay, so we have already the the valve uh, connected to the bucket. Um, so um, you can actually find some washers that, that are good. I put some silicone, the washers, I tie them really well. Uh, sometimes, you know, it feels like it's a little bit loose. Uh, but, you know, with the rubber washers, you can actually make it make it tight enough and put some silicone. Okay, so that's the first, the first container. The second container is going to be this one. It's going to be right inside there. Uh, and we're gonna uh, make some perforations with, um, this is a 3 of an inch drill bit. So I'm gonna make some perforations so the water can actually drain down into the first container and we'll keep the, the, the worms nice and, and dry, okay? Here it is. We have uh, the container, the bottom container, perforated with some eighth of an inch holes. Now the, the water can actually drain down uh, as intended and our, our worms are gonna be nice and and, and dry okay okay so we have this is the, the third container and from this container on whatever you do is going to be probably the same size meaning there's going to be big holes um and you know as you start putting uh, more and more food this thing start growing and growing and growing so you put another one over here and it grows i mean because obviously the volume of the leaves and whatever you put over there little greens that you put over there so it's going to start growing and you can put one or two or three so you can actually you know, just pull them out and switch them around. And just get the black dirt and and kind of maintain the rotation. You know, just three of them will, will give you a little bit of, of a hard time to, to, to do easier. But if you have four, these three containers can actually play around a little bit and, and you can, you know, just dump whatever is inside one of the, of the bottom container into another one and start, you know, kind of making the system to work a little better. So that's pretty much it. After that, you're gonna put a, a cover, a lid, and keep it in a nice um, uh, shaded area. Um, maintain, make sure that it's nice and, and moist, like what I did over here in the other system that I showed you in another video. Um, I actually have 
uh, you know, some of the leaves and some of the greens, they're already eating it. But um, this is where you put all your stuff. I put this little piece of uh, cardboard to maintain it nice and moist. But, um, but here's where they live. You know, they come, they eat over here, and they go back down. And that's how they move around. And obviously the liquid is, is falling down here. And from time to time, I'm just checking it out. So this, this is how it works. This one obviously has a, it's a little more convenient because it has a built-in, you know, lacking mechanism. Well, this one too, but it's kind of easier to put in a corner. And that's pretty much it. So I hope this uh, video will give you a little more of ideas of how to make your own warm farms. You can make it in a bigger scales, I guess. You know, just use your imagination. Um, but it's a lot of, a lot of um, I would say, money to make if you're planning to to make it in a commercial size. A lot of money to make from from this thing called the black gold and from the compost tea, which is the, the result of the liquid that comes out of the hummus and all the stuff. It's really enriching microorganisms and all the stuff that is really beneficial for you, your crops, okay? So thank you so much and subscribe for more educational videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.